Hey guys, it's Axio here, and welcome back to some more Genshin Impact. Now you're probably wondering, why are you not streaming Genshin Impact right now? And that is because... I don't want to. <laughs> no, it's because um, I don't really have the uh, time and the perfect environment to stream. And plus, uh, I'm usually busy during the morning when most people would tune into my stream. Um, it's right now, it's 8 o'clock p.m., 8.30 p.m. for me, um, and that's usually when most of my audience is asleep. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to pre-record this. This video is going to be me doing this shadows amidst, 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 this video is going to be me doing the shadows amidst, amidst, amid, come on! This is me doing the shadows amidst storms mission. Um, people told me that it's l pretty lore heavy and it's good to, it, I should do it, I shouldn't miss the event. So I, tr I tried to find time to do the event, um, but first, before I do that mission, I spent 10 minutes, n not lying, 10 minutes using Kaya, uh, the ice character to make the, uh, ice floor from the water. I did it for 10 minutes. I used Kaya for 10 minutes going all the way to this nameless island because I saw it. Um, and there's a mystery here. There's like a whole quest to do here. Um, it says right here, um, stories brought on the wind will bloom into legends in due time. What does this mean? Paimon has no idea. Still, this place looks like it hid some secret. Let's check out this area. We might find out some clues. I've kind of read that wrong, but you get the idea. Um... I've been looking around. I found a bunch of chests, but I haven't found out the secret. However, what I'm thinking is that I used these winds abilities on this or something. Maybe in the center. I use it somewhere. Um, and I I don't know what to do here. I don't want I don't want people to tell me what to do here. I want to figure it out myself eventually. But I don't know what to do here. I'm just letting y'all know that I got here. Um, I got a quest that it just says find the secret of this place. Yeah, uncover the secret of the uninhabited island. Do them all right here. I don't know. It's confusing. I'm trying to figure it out as best I can, but, you know, if I take too, too long on it, I'll end up cutting it out. I did have to defeat a boss. Like, those, those, those that are asleep, there's one that wasn't asleep that I had to kill. I succeeded in killing it, but the other ones didn't wake up for some reason. So I don't know if I'm... if I have to wake them all up somehow. I can also sit right here, <laughs> which is kind of cool, um, even though it's completely pointless. That's got a lot of crabs. Um, but my, my main objective is to do this Shadows Amidst Snowstorms mission. Um, my main objective is to do that. I just saw this island and I tried to go to it. Um, the problem is that if I fast travel away from it, it's going to take me another 10 minutes to get back here. Um, because I don't have enough stamina to just, just glide here. I had to, I had to use Kaya. But I'm just letting you all know that I, that I got here to this island. Did get a bunch of chests, but since I don't know how to do it, I guess I'll just leave it for another time. But what I do want to do is this. Time to do this. And there, it's right there. The good thing about pre-recording these videos is that I can edit and cut parts out. So that this isn't like an hours long. It's probably It probably might be hours long, depending on how long these missions are. But I'm going to try to finish the entire this entire quest thing. This one and the other one. I think there's two. Head to the entrance of Dragon's Fine. Oh, I've been here before. Sister Rosaria, so here you are. Choir practice is about to... I've told you already, I don't go in for that kind of thing. I've got more important matters to attend to. Oh, but this event has commemorative significance. The church hopes that all sisters will be present. Hopes? 
That's odd, because I don't recall a fulfill the hopes of others clause in my I don't remember her. I, I mean, sure, but... But what? You're the event organizer, aren't you? Do you not find it the least bit odd? What do you mean? This far out from Mondstadt at this hour? <laughs> Even if you set out right now, I'll wager you'd still miss the opening ceremony. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe this is someone's grand plan to make a fool Oh, voice sounds idea. familiar. I recognize that voice from something, I just don't know what. Huh? Well, th that can't be. People aren't like that. <laughs> Evidence decides what people are like, not your feelings. <sighs> Maybe you're a little too trusting of other people. Don't fret. Nobody's gonna blame you if you go back empty-handed. I can't imagine anyone else was delusional enough to think I was gonna show up. But if you dally any longer, you really won't make it. Uh, you're right. It's a very important commemorative event. If I'm late, then... Uh, right, I've gotta get going. Okay, bye. Oh, we were just standing there the entire time. Alrighty. Hmm. Seems like that sister's an expert in making people believe anything she wants. I thought I heard something. Who are you and why are you eavesdropping? Good question. We better watch out. She seems like a dangerous villain. Or a trickster at best. I mean, she she asked us a question, and we're just still talking amongst each other. Oh, really? Oh, I'm she heard it. I'm a member of the long-standing Favonius Church. You're an eavesdropping pixie from who knows where, and you think I'm the trickster? Wait, she heard that? Paimon was whispering so quietly. You still have a loud voice, Paimon. <laughs> You're adorable, but you have a loud voice. And as for this outlander you seem to be following... Uh, huh. So it's you. Yeah. The honorary knight that saved us from storm terror. Well then, given your status, I won't press you on your reasons for eavesdropping. Well, I don't know. I feel like regardless of what I do, I feel like I still don't have a good reason to just eavesdrop on people's conversations. That's Otherwise, kind of rude. depending on your answer, I could have arrested you on the spot. I mean, honestly? What? Based on, like, everything that I've done... Based on everything that I've done and Mondstadt, I probably should be arrested. I still, I'm still flying illegally. I still don't have the license. We can't go turning a blind eye to hidden dangers, can we? Why shouldn't sisters have a sense of justice? Hmm. That doesn't sound right. But Vyman can't think of a good comeback. <laughs> Let's talk about you. What are you doing in the mountains? We're looking for Al Albedo. We're investigating the truth of this world. We're looking for Albedo. If it's him you're after, I made a point of noting his tracks. Albedo? Albedo? Whatever you say it. Many people have made their way up after the snowstorm. Let's hope they're still there. So, are you also looking for him? No. This is just a professional habit of mine. I sensed elemental traces in these tracks. Never hurts to be vigilant. You're more like a detective. I couldn't care what you think. Come on, then. I'd like to see what he's up to anyway. She's got that attitude. Rosaria said there were elemental traces in the trap. They should show up pretty clearly with elemental sight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, but the problem is, this world, this this area of Dragonspine literally, like, is super hard. Because eventually you'll end up freezing up. Fry! <laughs> Actually, this is perfect. You're dead. Oh, I had to jump. Hold on, hold on. Why do I not have a fire character in my party? Kaya, you're cool and all, but I'm gonna have to switch you out. For, uh... Jangling. There we go. Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Just gonna whack. Just gonna whack you both. Obliterated. Away. 
That's what you get for guarding a chest that I so want. What's in here? Maybe a growth serum? Next time, don't hog all the items for yourself. Use your elemental sight to follow its tracks. Okay. You know, little pixie, your ability to appear and disappear at will is very interesting. Oh yeah, nobody even mentions that she does that. <laughs> yeah? After committing a crime, you'd be able to leave the scene without a trace. That is true. She can... I mean, she's not wrong. You can very easily kill. And nobody would know. Especially considering they think you're, like, small and adorable. So they wouldn't even su suspect you. Ow, ow, ow! Why y'all gotta whack me, like, three times? It's a little rude. Ow. Alright. Y'all, y'all gotta stop being yourselves. Okay, one more person. I don't even need to destroy these people. I just want to kill them anyways, because they're, they're, they're here. They're in my way. So I thought, why not? Alright, there's an ice thing here, so I think I have to burn it on fire. Right? Yeah. No, it's not. That's not really doing much. That didn't do anything. Sadly. What, what am I supposed to do with this? Come on, get the fire. I'm gonna die. I need, I need this fire right here. I need to get next to this fire so that I don't burn. Or, not burn, freeze. I don't know why I said burn. I'm burning right now, which is actually a good thing. I got used to operating in adverse conditions a What's long that? time ago. Huh? Seems like there's more to being a sister in the Favonius Church than Paimon realized. Was there supposed to be a dialogue asking what this was? And I just interrupted it. Oops. Sorry for that. How do I, uh... This is another thing that's just frozen in ice. I guess I can't get it. Hi! Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Um, you don't seem like the friendly type. Sadly, I'll have to obliterate, you know? Ooh. Ow. Ooh, got you with that Sayu fire! Nothing beats the Sonic Blade of Sayu, which I, the Sonic 2 trailer looks amazing. I'm really hyped for that movie. I know this is completely irrelevant, but uh, <laughs> that just reminded me of that. Ow. Now, do, now don't trap me in a corner. That's rude with a capital R. Gotcha! You're dead now, what did I get? Um, it wasn't much. Can I destroy this? I can. Ooh. What's this? Uh, Scarlet Quartz. Break them and collect their fragments. Okay. Oh. Oh! I should re I should have read more into that, because that's actually interesting. What is it? What is that? Under its influence, you will stop accumulating sheer cold. Oh, these help me not be freezing. Oh, nice. Good. I'm tired of freezing. It hurts. Good thing I can break these like very easily with Sayu. Yeah, look at that. One hit. How many can I collect? Can I collect? Can I have like more than one? Oh, no. I guess it seems it's just one at a time. 
Oh, there's a fire wisp. Where are you leading me? Oh, what is this now? Uh, warming Sealy. Dragon Spine is home to mutated creatures called Warming Sealy. They continuously emit heat that diminish your cold. Oh. That's nice. That's nice of them. That's really kind of them to do that. Was I supposed to go this way? No, I was supposed to go like more down here. I, I got a little ahead of myself. What's that up there? I want that. Is that Albedo? Why would he hang around? Albedo. The word on the street is he loves painting. He'll hang around anywhere for a good landscape. Anywhere? The views and scenery Respect. here are pretty good. Potential paintings everywhere you look. That could be anywhere in this game. This game is pretty. But can't he see those hilly churros? Isn't he in danger? <laughs> no, but we are. Uh oh. Looks like we startled them. Enough talk. Let's take them out of the picture first. Uh, that was fast. Who are you? Why did you alarm them? That was fast. I killed them so fast. I didn't even finish. I didn't even, like, finish with my final attack. They just died. Thank the gods I'd already completed my painting. Would have been a shame to leave these particular hilly churls unfinished. I thought you were painting a landscape. What's up with painting hilly churls? What makes them so interesting? They got a nice chin. I'm afraid nice the kneecaps. Easy to explain. If you'd like to have a look at my painting, it may give you a clue. Look at those kneecaps. Very avant-garde wow look at the detail but some of it seems to have been done in a hurry i mean yeah because we were fighting you can find these holy trolls anywhere quite boring in fact not worth closer inspection mm. but take a look at this specimen the build the coat and there's a distinct force at work here in the cyclical lives of such primitive communities such unique attributes are an indication of evolution at work. Evolution, the transition from nothing into existence, from the known to the un- it, Hold your horses. Ugh, something tells me we're in for a thesis and I haven't got the stamina. I'm still currently freezing, by the way. We found your man. I'm headed back. We found your man. Hold on. <laughs> we're, not, we're not together. Calm down. Weirdo. <laughs> so Sister Rosaria brought you. Surprising. And I didn't have time to thank her. But back to the point. From her words, it seems that you were looking for me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We met a girl in Mondstadt, Sucrose. She said you were stuck with your research. I see. So Sucrose sent you here. Yep. Then, if I'm not mistaken, you must be the honorary knight. You've got the whole of Mondstadt talking. I've heard a bit of everything. Your actions during Storm Terror's attack, your elemental control, and quite a few other mysterious things. Look, if you saw me climb the trees, I'll just have you know. It's none of your business. I'll skip to the conclusion. There's only one possibility after all. You came from afar. From another world, correct? You are worthy of your scholarly reputation. Excellent. If I could procure your assistance, I think my research would benefit enormously. Your research? Uh, forgive me. This must be confusing. Where should I begin? Hmm. The essence of life? You're gonna begin, like, that far back? Like, during the Big Bang? That seems... This, like, you have a whole entire history to talk about, like, billions of years. Whoa, whoa, you want to start with that? That's what I'm saying. Hmm, you're right. Giving a demonstration would be better than trying to explain. For example, 
awakening life, breathing new life into fallen leaves. Whoa! Do that again, I wasn't looking. You can do that? Alchemy really is miraculous. However, yeah. I have a particular seed in my possession. The method I'm talking about has produced no results. It's like you, in that it hails from another world. Helping it to grow, to bloom. That's the problem my research is up against. I see. That's where I need your assistance. Well, if you're struggling to figure it out, Paimon's not sure we're going to be much assistance. I beg to differ. I'm unable to comprehend the intricacies of life outside of the known world. But you're not from the known world. By observing and researching you, I may just be able to find a way to get the seed to sprout. Researching me? I don't know whether I should be flattered or what. So I'm an object of research. Uh, shall we just get out of here? This sounds a little freaky. <laughs> Is there any danger? What's in it for me? Is there any danger? That's possible. All right. I will do everything in my control to ensure your safety. I appreciate that. Time for a change of surroundings. We should be going. There's research to do. All right. I mean, if you want to do research on me, that's fine. I, I should be flattered. You just went on our butt about and that traveler seemed to have hit it off. We're not together. Chill out. Takes a weirdo to know one, I guess. I, wonder, I am a weirdo. Does this constitute a risk to Mondstadt? She now she's trying to eavesdrop. She just went on my butt about eavesdropping, and then she went and did the same. Although I don't think she heard him. I can make that jump, but I'm not going to. I have to go all the way up there. Head to the test site. Oh, the, the Excuse me? That was a weird position. Did the enemies die super fast because I hit this? No, I don't think so. I'm almost frozen. Is there a... There's that. I want to get that. What is that? I'm almost frozen. I'm almost frozen. Even after, like, I'm exerting work onto myself, I'm still freezing. What is this? Frostbearing tree. Crimson agate. When exploring the Dragonspine region, you will sometimes find a kind of crystalline substance known as the Crimson agate. Offering these Crimson agates to frostbearing trees may yet yield rich re rewards. I see. Can you burn me, please? You're not helping. You're not helping at all. Hold on a second. I'm, like, I'm taking damage because I'm freezing. I need to get something. Right. Can I use these lanterns for fire? No, of course not. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back because I'm scared. I'm gonna go over here. I'm dying. 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 I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Can you burn? I probably should have another fire character that actually burns the ground. Because her ability doesn't burn the ground. There we go. Fire. Why? Why? I'm surrounded by fire. Why is it not making my thing go down? Why is it not making my frost ice go down? Okay, at least that, that works. Alright, this works. There we go. I'm burning myself, but it works out. This is scary. This is very scary. I have a, I have a decent amount of enemies that can heal, but at the same time, like, I'm still scared. I'm gonna freeze up again. I wanna do this. Oh. Oh. Snow-covered path. Ow! Excuse me. It said start, so I don't know what I s started. I thought, it, I guess that's just a radius thing? I have no idea. I have no idea what I did. I just did something. Okay, can I use? Can I use? Can I use it? Can I use it? No, I can't. Okay, well, 
At least it's a little area there for me to chill out. I didn't know that's what that did, but now I know. And away I go. Make my escape. Ooh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. There's a lot of areas around here that has fire, so I'm good. Or I should be good. Yeah, right. Unless I use up the fire like this and just completely decimate everything in my path. Obliterated. Let me get this. I'll need this. Give me that. Thank you. Now I can just run around. Ooh, another one of those. Let me get that. Why do I keep getting stuck on the steps? I'm trying to go as fast as I can. There we go. Paimon has a question. After the seed sprouts, will it grow into anything? I don't know. But I feel the importance will lie in the method, not the endpoint. Using alchemy to awaken otherworldly life into that would constitute a big leap in my understanding of the essence of life. After awakening, even creation may be possible. Creation? <laughs> Still a little difficult to understand. Paimon's Paimon Paimon's figuring things out at her, at her own pace. No, Paimon's got a brain, but what's the seed gonna become? Isn't that more interesting than whatever it was you were saying? Doesn't seem like you understood. <laughs> Doesn't seem like you understood. If it turns out to be a delicious fruit. Dinner's on me. Oh. Dinner, though? I mean, with a fruit, you can very easily make dessert. We can skip right to dessert. Yay! Paimon's holding you to it. You sure, you sure know how to keep Paimon on board. You've seen through Paimon's ulterior motives. <laughs> I'll pick that one. Well, let's just say I, uh, occasionally have to look after a child. Another lengthy explanation, I'm afraid. Oh. I suppose it's one of the few non-alchemy-related disciplines I'm any good at. The subject of my first research was the elements. In this world, manipulating the elements requires a vision. Though I can't see anything resembling one on your person. How you're able to freely manipulate elemental power is something I'd like to ascertain. I've got a few questions in that regard. Sure. Firstly... Do you have any extra organs? A second heart? A fourth stomach? Things of that nature. In order to have a fourth stomach, I'd need to have three other ones. If you look at my body, do you think my body would be able to fit four stomachs? A cow, a huge cow, can only fit two. And you think I'd fit four? Usually a stomach is the size of your fist. So she, so he's looking at my thin body and thinks that I have four fist-sized stomachs inside of me. A heart makes sense, though. I, I, I can, I can understand if I have, I might have a second heart, but four stomachs. How would that even work? <laughs> Not that I'm aware Fascinating. of. Fascinating. And this floating child is connected to your body in some way. No. Not at all. What a stupid question! Can't you see the gap between us? And another thing! It's Paimon, not floating child! <laughs> I was merely considering the possibility that you were an external organ. Perhaps there is some invisible force connecting you. I caught Paimon with a fishing rod. <laughs> no, I met Paimon on my travels. Oh. And that rules out that possibility. I wonder... Did Paimon guide the elemental power to you? I have no idea. But that would mean that Paimon's elemental power would be enough to break through a mountain rock at least 10 meters thick, or cause the waterfall south of Springville to flow backwards. Even Paimon's confused. Hmm. No, that definitely can't be it. Hey! How would you know anyway? In that case, it would appear that there's no obvious difference between the composition of your body and that of the humans in this world. I'm still a human. <laughs> Given that there's clearly a discrepancy in the research, it seems that only experimentation will yield the answers. Whoa. Firstly, 
this mysterious elemental power. I'd like to examine exactly how it manifests externally. Okay. Let me lure a few slimes to the area. Perhaps you'd be able to defeat them using whatever method comes most naturally to you. Huh? Doesn't seem very sciencey. Direct and clear observation are imperative to a good experiment. This is just a simple exercise. Naturally, if you require a greater challenge, we could bring in six oceanids. Do it. Slimes! Slimes are fine! No, I don't follow. This seems like a hassle. As long as I'm not being batted around by hydro mimics. Well, prepare yourself. The slimes will be here any moment. Okay. I mean, oceanoids would have been fine. I could have, I could have obliterated all of them. Oz, reveal thyself. Uh -huh. Ow! I'm trying to grab this. There we go. Ice powers. As you wish, main Fräulein. I'm not a big fan of uh, Fischl's ultimate ability. It's not bad, but like, it's not as cool as the other ones are. Or useful in my opinion. Maybe I just like am missing something regarding that ability. Why you gotta jump over when I'm about to do a triple attack on you? There we go. I should just hit him from a f five. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Great work. Did you feel anything out of the ordinary? Yeah, I transformed into four other beings. It was very weird. If you're injured, I have a few emergency potions ready. Just a bit cold. Excellent. According to my observations, the manifestation of the external elemental flow is as expected. Elemental reactions are normal. There's nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Now that we know that the external flow is manifesting normally, let's test the internal flow. How do you how do you test that? Internal flow? How do you test uh, that? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Paimon are on the same wavelength sometimes. It's very simple. I can use alchemy to create a potion that will extract elemental power. Okay. If the elemental power is stored or accumulated physically within your body, this potion may elicit an elemental reaction. Will it crystallize my stomach? Will it make my stomach swirl? Um, honestly, these both are really good questions. Will it crystallize it? It's kind of terrifying. It does. Don't worry. In the normal course of events, you'd feel some temporary queasiness. No bodily injury. In the abnormal course of events? If anything unexpected occurs, I've made the necessary preparations. Try not to worry. That's not hugely reassuring. Well, it's not that there aren't any risks involved. But if there is anything blocking your elemental flow, we'll be able to locate it with this test. Okay. Just a warning. If an internal elemental reaction occurs for any other reason, that's a bad sign. This is like a health checkup. Yes, that's an excellent way to think about it. Before we get started, the potion we'll use for the test is missing a catalyst. We'll need to find it. All right. It's a type of ore known as star silver. I have some. But unfortunately, not all of it is suitable. I'll take you to my campsite. We can gather some star silver ore on the way. I have some. I'll point out any likely contenders. Okay, all but I have some. To plan, we should be able to begin concocting the potion when we get to the campsite. Okay. Paimon still got a few safety concerns, but it seems like there's a silver lining. I have safety concerns as well. I might die. Let's keep our eyes open. Sure thing. We'll do. What is this? What is what is that? What are you? Are you an enemy? You're an enemy. Well, you're dead now. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wait, what was the point of that? 
Oh, there's a chest. Whoa. There's a precious chest. I just... And I got another crimson... A gate. Sweet. Okay. That was pretty easy to get a big chest like that. Record of serial number Hugh 57104. 32, 32, 322, 3. This seems like a code of some sort. What is this? It's soul, and star silver, it's bones, but the only one who can wield it, the ice-breaking outlander. Imun... Imunlao. Imuniao. Looks like this stone tablet is talking about events from the past. Huh? It's lighting up, and those symbols over there are lighting up too. If we activate all those symbols, look at that huge door might open. Who knows what might be inside? Let's, let's see if there's are any more tablets like this one. Okay. All right, we'll do. I'm gonna be exploring a lot, so this this episode might be long. I might cut it up into two parts. I don't know. I don't want it to be too long because my videos are long as is. Oh, this is the tower right here. All right. How do you how do you do that? How do you remove that? I want to remove that. <laughs> I want to figure out how to remove this ice. I wonder. I wonder if you just grab one of these and do it that way. Because I think these give you fire abilities. Oh, there's one of those as well. Can this do it? There we go. Oh, it's as simple as that. Okay. Do the stuck. There we go. The world opens itself before those with noble hearts. Got it. Hey. Wow. <laughs> now that I got the now that I got it in the map, it's like really out of place. <laughs> can I worship it? I mean I don't have enough for it, but I can. Hey! I'm almost leveled up. And I got that fast travel. I got that statue. I want to find that tree that I use these uh, gates for. I'm probably going to find it eventually, but I want to find it now. <laughs> I'm impatient. Hey, look at that. Here. Oh. Should do for catalyst purposes. Star Silver Catalyst. Oh, I need a, the specific Catalyst versions. I obliterated. Destiny hey! Adventure Ring 24, let's go. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> this one. Usable with a bit of polish. Okay. What luck. This should be enough. My campsite is just up ahead. I'll lead the way. Oh, there's another one right there. Part of me really wants to go for it. Oh, there's another challenge, too. There's a couple challenges I missed all around Mondstadt that I have to get. I'll end up getting, I'll end up getting all of them eventually. What's over here? Is this a scam site? It is. This is my campsite. I've added the materials we collected to the concoction. While we are waiting, have a look over here. Okay. Hey, dude. Who's that other guy? My assistant Timaeus here is helping me with my research. Oh. I'm may have met in Mondstadt already. Yeah, he's the uh, he's the alchemy person that was there before. Uh, Sucrose was there. Hello! I've just gotten hold of the data from your experiment. The report is already up on the board there. Whoa! Look at all the data! You got all these results from one slime battle? <laughs> I wouldn't call them results. Inferences and a few daring guesses, perhaps. 
I think the most rational direction would be to expound on the phylogenetic relationship between this traveler and the slimes. Yeah, I would have thought even Paimon and I were more closely related. <laughs> rational? Hmm, consider. You don't have a vision, but you can manipulate elemental energy. The slimes don't have visions either, yet they too are able to manipulate the elements. You call me a slime? I dare you. Following this line of thought, I'm sure we'll be able to establish a basis in fact. Your mouth isn't moving. Not bad for a point of entry. But strictly speaking, slimes are elemental life forms. In other words, beings consisting entirely of the elements. A cryoregis vine, or even a whopper flower might be a better analogy. But tracing back the phylogenetic relationships between plants and animals, you might have to trace back to the world's origins. In that sense, things might get difficult, don't you think? Uh, yes, sir. That sounds correct. After all, we've got our primary data already. This traveler is a visitor from another world. Yep. If it turned out that she did have a phylogenetic relationship with this world. Huh. Now that really would be something, wouldn't it? The game said she. They got the gender right. <laughs> Previously, when I've been playing Genshin Impact, sometimes they get the gender wrong. Ah, it would. <laughs> Apologies. I was so excited to get the data. I'll slow down a bit next time. Speaking of data, to complete our research, we'll need some more. I'll be conducting analysis here for the time being. If you're keen for an update, just come and find me. Okay. Great. I'll leave you to it. Hmm. Looks like the potion's ready. I'll try a little first. If all goes well, I'll hand it over to you. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. In line with my expectations. Oh my god, you turned me to a child! Remember to keep calm at all times. And breathe deeply if you feel unwell. Oh, well, I already failed that. I'm trying to be funny. I'm just gonna steal everything of yours. I hope you don't mind. What do you have I've to say? I just tried some. It's in line with my expectations. Remember okay. to keep calm at all times, and breathe deeply if you feel unwell. Okay. I'll be noting down all observable results and data points. Okay. Okay, so I gotta drink that. Let me get these achievements real quick. What 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 did I do? <laughs> Knock a cryo slime out of the hands of a cryo helitron. Okay. Defeat a cryo some semitron before it is able to create an ice pillar. All right. What is this? Light up the dragon spire map. Okay. Before we drink this potion and probably get myself killed. I have some wishes to use. Um, I'll do this one. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, Rain Slasher. Okay. I'm not mad. I don't mind it. Nope, nope. All right, well, that kind of sucked. But, but, <laughs> I have enough for uh, a couple more. Not really. I lied. I only have enough for one more. Nope. All right. Well, n nothing good except the sword, which I can give to somebody. I'll give Razor this rain slasher. I bet y'all in the comments are probably going to tell me to give it, give it to somebody else, but I'm going to give it to him for now. I could always refine Noelle's. Because Noelle has the same weapon. I could always just refine it with the second Rain Slasher. I could do that. But I'm not going to. Because I have a decent amount of characters that have heavy attacks. So I'll just give them both one. Alright. That pull of me going through all those wishes. I didn't really get anything good except that sword. So, uh, well. Didn't really have an exciting death, but... Had something.
Oh, you literally have to. I literally have to go into my inventory and drink the potion. All right. Well, rest in peace, me. I'm on fire. That's not good. Tasty? You got a funny look on your face. It's burning a bit. You said you tried some already. You sure it was ready? What's happened to her? Hmm? Oh, this was the result I was expecting. And a very positive one at that. To burn me on fire? I This potion channels elemental power into the body. Under normal circumstances, a repelling reaction is to be expected. But if the internal elemental flow is unimpeded, you'll only experience momentary discomfort. Once the flow is complete, there won't be any other effects. So you knew you'd be sick and still drink some? <laughs> it was my own concoction, of course. Only natural for me to be the guinea pig. Out of consideration for the test subject? What about the risk to you? Perhaps it's just scholarly self-assurance. And it certainly speeds things up. In conclusion, I'd say we have our conclusion. As far as elemental energy is concerned, you're no different from anyone else in this world. Nothing peculiar. Okay. Aw, Paimon wanted something cooler to happen. Then I'm again, burning. Better an ordinary result than a peculiar result. Peculiar results have a tendency to be of the undesirable variety. I feel like you're referring to something in particular. The good thing about ordinary is that everything is an object of reference, and everyone understands you. People are the same, they can understand, empathize, encourage, and support one another. Mm -hmm. When you're sick, a doctor can diagnose you because they are you. When something goes wrong, you can ask people who've made the same mistake for their experience because you are them. Mm -hmm. But a peculiar person. They don't have much recourse for the things we take for granted. The essence of their life is fundamentally different. For example, a human can't understand the life of a pyro regisvine or an eye of the storm. Have I explained it clearly enough? Yeah, I think I'm getting it. To sum up, I'm understanding. This has been a positive outcome. Going forward, you can use your elemental power without fear. So I had fear before? Timaeus, the results of the new experiment are out. I had it's reason to have them. to be fearful before I drank that? Just a moment, sir. I'll handle it. Oh, you gave me a lot to consider. Really stretched my limits. I'm thinking a lot clearer now. Oh, having you down as an animal wasn't very precise of me, but starting with the premise as of an, an elemental animal? life form, now that was... As an animal? Not bad. I think it's an interesting line of... He just animal. called me an animal. Whatever the truth of the matter, I'd like your research at the fore I as mean, opposed to my judgment. He's not wrong. Hmm. You can count on me, sir. I'll extract a result satisfactory to all. Is he trying to join the knights? He's starting to sound like a suck-up. Uh, what Paimon meant to say was, that's the spirit. Mr. Albedo, say something. Paimon, you, <laughs> Paimon, I don't understand why you feel the need to want to talk, talk about somebody right next to them. <laughs> and your voice is loud enough to where people can hear you. Hmm. Before we can proceed with our research... I need to prepare something. Wait one moment. Okay. If you're interested, why not have a look around? It may help to pass the time. Okay. Observe record board. A board with some incomprehensible experimental reports stuck onto it. Still, you can tell that progress is being made on those experiments. Okay, I'm gonna get this. Nice. Observe shelf. A shelf packed with books and potions. Looks like the owner has a habit of reading and researching potions simultaneously. Nice. What's happening? Oh. Observe. Observe the table. It looks like a table. <laughs> looks like an alchemy work table. Some potions and other 
Some potions and other apparatus are laid out here. Are these what Albedo uses to investigate the world? It wouldn't hurt to touch it, would it? No touchy! Here comes Albedo! Let's go see him! I didn't touch anything! <laughs> didn't touch anything. Gotta go! Run away from the crime. I'm back. Did you see anything interesting? Couldn't make heads or tails of anything. Your things aren't very organized. Couldn't make heads or tails of anything. Not to worry. They're all for alchemical purposes. You'd be hard-pressed to find an everyday use for them. Well, on with the research. Okay. There may be significant differences between different worlds. Take Tibet, for example. Here, those with visions can manipulate the elements. But worlds may well exist where only one person is able to do so. Or even everyone. So, uh, leaving elements to one side. Do you possess any... unique abilities? Ones that don't exist in this world? I can lick my elbow. <laughs> I think answering this question calls for the same methodology as last time. In other words, time for the next experiment. I drank my fill, thanks. Am I battling slimes again? No, no. You shan't be required to exert quite so much effort this time around. Okay. Now, see this pillar here? Yeah. Use your willpower to try and break it. What? Sorry, I can't... I just can't do that. Paimon, you give it a shot. Paimon, you got this. You think Paimon knows how to do that stuff? Yeah. That was your best effort? Hmm. Well, can't be helped, I suppose. Yeah, I thought I'd I thought I'd try. I, I know I know I couldn't do it, so maybe Paimon could have tried, but Pai, Paimon couldn't do it. Uh, have you Sucks tried to... using your elemental power with food? Uh, I don't mean for cooking as such. Uh, rather, channeling your power into the ingredients themselves. Not really. I'm curious to see how the taste and texture respond. It may even help with proliferation. Sure you're not just peckish? Chemists certainly have active imaginations. <laughs> I suppose I have a curiosity for things that others find surprising. Anyway, why don't you cook us up a sunshine sprat? I've just finished preparing the recipe. A new recipe. Cooking? Paimo was looking forward to more mad scientist stuff. Don't you love food? Aren't you a food person? What's happening? Who are you, Paimon? Not only is this recipe a staple for me, it's also worth experimenting with and highly nutritious. Hmm. Paimon bits you're just hungry. It <laughs> does sound yummy, though. Okay, Paimon approves. I'll save you a fin or two. I know what you're getting at. I'll save you a fin or two. Mm -hmm. Good buddies are always on the same page. <laughs> I'll leave you to it, then. Looking forward to the results. I'm gonna make a new recipe. If there's anything left over, maybe Timaeus can finish the last morsels. Uh, Paimon doesn't think we'll have that problem. <laughs> How are we gonna channel elemental power into the food? Maybe try the willpower thing again. Just telling me to talk fast. Her? Looking forward to tasting. I mean, testing. I didn't even results. look at the. I didn't even. Yeah, I didn't even look at the. I didn't even look at the Where recipe yet. These ideas from anyway? I don't know. I also ha I also got a couple n recipes from just looking for chests off camera after I went to Li Liwei. Liwei had a lot of recipes in chests. I got like four recipes from chests. Um, that's pretty much all I did off camera is just explore and find chests. So I didn't really do anything story related, but uh, yeah, I got a bunch of uh. I don't have salt. Do I have to... Do I seriously have to go and look for salt? I haven't even gotten any salt at all. Like, I've never gotten salt in this game. Where do you get salt? Mondstadt. I can buy... I can buy... I can buy... I can buy some salt... At the goods place. At least I think so. Mondstadt General Goods Shop, it says right here. That's how I get salt. So I'll have to go and get some salt. This is a big hassle. They could have just, like, gave me a recipe that didn't... Inc 
I have so much ingredients and so many foods in my inventory, and it's asking for the one thing I don't have. <laughs> oh, Timmy is high. There we go, right here. Mazda General Goods. There we go, there's the salt. Give me... I'm actually gonna buy, like, 20 salt. 20 pepper. Because even if I... Even if I use it up for... And I'm gonna get some milk. I'm gonna get these ingredients because, uh... You never know if I might need them again. Just in case. Just to have an, a, a good abundance of them. Because I've never had them before. <laughs> You'd think that I'd get something as important as salt and pepper, but I didn't. Alright, time to cook up the food. But l let me unlock these recipes. Mint jelly. Flaming red. Bolognese. Tea break pancake. There we go. Got some Got some good, good food here. Now I can make this. The sunshine, sunrise, whatever the heck he wants. <laughs> I can make that now. Can I make a special? Oh, I can make the mint jelly. Ooh, Alloy can make a special mint jelly. Ooh. Let me do that. I'm just gonna keep making it until I get something new. There we go. Got it. Unlo uh, automatic cooking for mint jelly unlocked, and I got safety and gel. S sa satiety gel? I don't know. But it's alloy specialty. Sweet. Is there a specialty for the food I just made? Or is it? Oh, I can't even make it again. Because I ran out of butter? I, can't I have more butter. I can make more butter. Oh, I can make spaghettios. Spaghettios, I can make spaghetti. And I make pancake. I haven't made a pancake before. Can I make a special dish? Ooh, Noelle can make a special dish. Let's do that. <laughs> while while I'm like already cooking. I immediately made Noelle's specialty. Lighter than air pancake. Ooh. Nice. Since I'm already in this cooking menu, might as well cook up as much as I can. Have I made this before? Mondstadt grilled fish? Maybe not. Oh, there's no... Oh, Dayona can make a special dish. Delicious. Oh, this is just... This is still grilled fish. Come on, give me the special dish. There we go. Made it. After the automatic cooking. Definitely not bar food. Do you want a special? Sweet. Um, what else can I make? Grilled tiger fish. I'm using up all my ingredients right now. <laughs> I'm using every, every single bit. Oh, there's nobody who makes a special dish. I'll just make one. Because I, I never made it before. There we go. Lisa can make a special... Spaghetti? Alright. Oh, I can't make another one. Shoot. Well, I used up, like, almost all my ingredients doing that. <laughs> but it was worth it, because now I got a lot of food cataloged. I made you delicious sun sunshine sprat. I hope you enjoy it. That was fast. I hope you enjoy it. You better enjoy it. I made it al dente. I also like cooked ten other meals, mm. but an average outcome experimentally, but you really brought out the flavor. You seem well versed in the science of gastronomy. As far as the proliferation hypothesis is concerned, we've come up short. Seems like food presents the same headaches in your world as it does ours. Hmm. Unless... Could it be that the natural laws of this world are limiting your unique abilities? I have no idea. 
chemical power into the food. It's a little more complicated than adding herbs and spices, you know. That's true. And not to worry. At least we put some food to good use. No need to feel disheartened. Yeah, I literally... I'm using... Uh, I used up so much food. I have so many, like, ingredients in my inventory that I might as well just cook a bunch of food. Especially considering the food heals. I might, like, really need it if... And here's your portion. Enjoy. Oh. I can box it up if you like. Woohoo! Thanks! Glad you were paying attention. <laughs> You're Paimon's new favorite. Not often that Paimon gets this much attention. No, you're Paimon's new favorite. I can tell that you're good friends. Paimon was keeping an eye on you and your safety during the whole experiment. Yep. Not that Paimon would have been able to do much if things had gone wrong. But anyway. She would have given support. She would have been like, you got this. I know you're dying right now, but you, you can pull through. Hey, you were being nice a second ago. <laughs> But you do have tasty recipes, so Paimon forgives you. <laughs> and you're right, we are good friends. You have good friends too, right? Good students? Uh, yes. I'm fortunate too, I suppose. Anyway, moving on to the next experiment. There are all manner of alchemical items here. Keeping them in their proper place is a challenge at the best of times. A while ago, I had the misfortune of misplacing a batch. I never know. I never said this before, or maybe I have in a stream. But I love Paimon's cape, just the galaxy design. I just love. I managed to retrieve the majority, but two vials have been evading me: animal crystal fly elemental extract and electrohypostasis powder. Okay. Paimon's barely finished eating, and you want us to go gathering again? Why can't Don't worry you do if you it? Can't locate them. <laughs> I was planning to replace them anyway. Though finding them would save me the hassle. All right, no, well, fair enough. If you had, say, a superpower, like night vision or vibratory sensing, a lost property would be a thing of the past. I must have dropped them somewhere in the area where you were looking just now. So, guess we'd better take a look. There should be some elemental traces on the lost items. Oh yeah, you could use elemental sight. Yep. Oh, what's this? What did I finish here? Oh, weekly mission. Cook 20 dishes. Nice. I'm level 1. I still don't care about this battle pass thing, but like... I'm gonna try to finish as many of these missions as I can. Oh. The extract of an animal crystal fly can only be animal elemental energy, right? This has got to be it. Still in one piece. Good thing the vial's so strong. This must be electrohypostasis powder. Yep, got them. They weren't that hard. Let me burn myself on fire a little bit so that I don't freeze up. Who would have thought that the only way to survive up a mountain is literally just to burn yourself alive? Goodness, you managed to find them. Yes, I did. Incredible. A thousand thanks. How about you give me a thousand and one thanks? I'm wondering, this elemental sight, this is what allowed you to locate the items and find me here on the mountains, correct? Mm-hmm. Yep. Guess it does sort of count as a superpower, huh? We're basically Superman. Unfortunately, Superwoman. Elemental sight Wonder is Woman. seldom seen. We're super unheard of in we're, we're in a comic book. <laughs> Only a never before seen otherworldly power would be of benefit to my research. You mean we failed again? Don't be disheartened. This falls entirely within my expectations. Besides, getting these items back, I'd call this a very worthwhile experiment. I have to commend your deduction that the items would contain elemental traces. Right then. Up until now, our research has focused on your otherworldly identity. Our research on your identity as one of us is just beginning. How do I get off this train? With you to the end. In essence, the differences between humans are reflected in our intellectual and physical capabilities. Let's start with physical. Okay. Looking out from where we're standing. 
Can you see what Sucrose is doing? Uh, no. When I was down there, Tim, Timius, Timaeus was down there. Nope. And if you jump from here and landed on that cliff, the one over there, could you see her then? Nope. So what about if you planted a single blow on the mountain face here, and it burst into a million fragments? Then could you see her? Nope. Hmm. Then I shouldn't get too excited. Still, we'll gain a more thorough understanding with an experiment. I know of a location that will be perfect for a physical test. Please, follow me. Alrighty. I have long hair to the point where I can, like, do Albedo's hairstyle if I really wanted to. But the problem is, I don't want to, so I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk away. What a pleasant surprise. Wait, what did the chest give me? What? I got a priest's box? Excuse me? I got a priest's box? Uh what? What did you just give me, game? A treasure box with a decorative pattern on the bottom. The ornament seems to be a part of a three-piece motive. Once the pattern is completed, a certain door might open. Oh, I see. Oh, you know I'm here now. Okay, might as well kill you. I mean, I could always just fly away or run away. I don't need to kill you. But I actually, honestly, I want to kill you. Oh, I've never fought somebody like you before. Ooh, you thought you had me there. 420, let's go. It's no wonder why this mission has taken so long, because I keep procrastinating like this. But I love killing enemies. Whoa. a bad idea. I should have just stayed ranged. I should have just stayed ranged. I wonder if I... Oh, I don't get hit from this. I still get hit! Even in that... Wow. Wow. I didn't expect to, you know, get hit during my super move, because usually you don't get hit during your super moves. Super moves gives you, like, a slight invulnerability, or at least I thought it seemed like that. Guess I was wrong. Hmm. Guess I was the fool. Oh, another shrine. Snow whipped across the skies. The pillars that fell from the heavens was risen in three. The stone tablets lit up as well. While performing certain attacks, the Ruin Grater will expose the, co expose the cores on its head and feet. You can take advantage of that. Properly attacks its cores, defeating it should be much easier. He had one on his feet, too? Hmm. Okay. Well, that kind of sucked. Fischl died. Uh, let me give her, get her some, some, some goodies. I'll give her this. And then just use this to heal her. I do gotta say, the view from this mountain is very pretty. Extremely pretty. I wonder what it'll look like if I'm at the very top. Why is it floating? There's like floating rocks up there. Can I step? If I if I fly, if I find a way to fly out of the way up there, can I step up there? That'd be pretty cool. But just straight up flying in the air. I'm gonna end the video now. I've been doing this for about an hour and a half. I don't want I don't want the video to be too long because then it'd take me for a bit to edit it. So I'm just gonna stop now um, and continue it tomorrow or another time. I, I mean, I definitely have to continue it tomorrow because it, it ends in like two days. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you everybody for watching. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday! If you sneeze, this video bless you. If you had a bad day, I truly hope to set you up in some way. And uh, yeah.
See you, everybody. I don't know how much left of this there is, but I'm gonna try to beat it in the next video. Okay, see you, everybody.